Page status is one of my favorite features in Confluence. And with this rule, you can actually notify people automatically when the status of a page changes. Um, so for this example, we're going to use this rule template to notify our team when an article in our knowledge base needs review. Um, You'll always start when you click in with the rule template with your rule details, um, and you can change this to uh, match exactly what you're having the rule do. So here, notify people when the status of a page changes. Um, we'll just add an additional detail in our knowledge base, um, and then just add in additional notes in the description when a page changes and needs review in our knowledge base. Um, and then for the scope, we're going to change it specifically for this example because we only want it to apply to our knowledge base. Um, so we're going to change it to single space and then select um, Team Phoenix, which is our uh, knowledge base in this example. Uh, next, we're going to move on to configure the other components of this rule. So when a page status is changed, um, like I mentioned, we want this to run when we need someone to review a page. So we're going to select the page status as ready for review and save that. Um, then what we want to happen is we want to send a Slack message to our team, um, letting them know that this page is ready for review and needs, um, needs their eyes on it. Um, so we've already pre-configured our connection to our Slack account here, um, and there's details if you need um, to figure out how to do this as well. Here, the message is pre-populated using smart values that will automatically pull in this page status and then the URL that actually triggered this rule. Um, you can obviously edit this message, um, add in additional details, make it more personal, uh, whatever you need. But as is, um, you know, it'll pull in the necessary information. Um, here is where you can do additional configuration if you need it. Um, we've already configured our um, connection to Slack to sync to a specific uh, channel. But if you wanted to specify that channel or a specific user here, um, that's where you would do that. Um, you're just going to want to save that uh, and then turn it on.